Okay, we're going to start out with something that you've probably seen before. Fingers crossed that you have, and this should be review. This should be easy. Okay, so solving just a one-step equation, we only have to do one thing to solve for a variable. Okay, so in this case, in all the examples, we're working with x. Okay, that's the most common variable. So in this first example, we've got 3x equals 6. Okay, if you see a 3x, that just means 3 times x equals 6. So 3 times some number equals 6. We need to know what number am I multiplying by 3 to get 6. Okay, in order to solve for x, we're just going to undo everything being done to it, which means we're just going to do the opposite. Okay, so right now, x is being multiplied by 3. The opposite of multiplication is division. Okay, so because x is being multiplied by 3, I need to undo that by dividing. So I'm dividing this by 3. I'm undoing this multiplication. But if I do something on this side of my equal sign, I've got to do it on the other side. You have to. Okay, it's like balancing an equation. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I've divided this side by 3. Therefore, I'm going to divide my 6 by divide my 6 by 3. Okay? 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So I'm left with 1x. I don't need that 1. Okay? I've got x. You can just leave it as x. x is what we're solving for. So now I've got x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. If you want to solve that, and um, so we've solved it for 2. If you want to check that answer, all you've got to do is take your answer and plug it back into x. Okay, so originally I had 3 times x equals 6. I got x is 2, so let's go see. 3, instead of an x, I'm going to put a 2. 3 times 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. My answer is right. I'm good to go. Okay? So we did 3x equals 6, x is 2. Notice this example, it's exactly the same as the first one, but I put the 6 on the left side and the 3x on the other side. It doesn't matter that I flipped it around. It's the same thing. The x is still being multiplied by 3. So in order to solve for x, I'm still going to undo this by doing the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide it by 3. I did it on the right side, so I've got to do it on the left side of the equal sign. 6 divided by 3. Again, 3 divided by 3, that gives me a 1x. Okay? I'm not going to put that 1, though. I don't have to. Okay, so I've got my x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Notice... Same problem, exact same equation, I just flipped it around, so I got the same answer. Don't be thrown off if the x is on the right side of the equal sign. It's the same thing. If you want to rewrite it, then you can. Okay. Next one, 2x is equal to negative 8. Same deal, the 2 is being multiplied by the x. I need to undo that. Opposite of multiplication is division. Being multiplied by 2, so I'm going to divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. That leaves me with a 1x or just x. Did it on this side, so i got to do it on the other. I have a negative divided by a positive. Same rules as multiplication. I have a negative and I have a positive. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So negative 8 divided by positive 2 is a negative 4. Again, if you want to check this, you can. My original equation was 2x equals negative 8, so instead of an x, I'll plug in my negative 4. 2 times negative 4, it equals negative 8. A positive 2 times a negative 4 equals a negative 8. That's correct, so my answer is good. Next, I've got a negative 2x. Same example as before, but this time I made my 2x a negative. Negative 2x equals negative 8. The x is being multiplied by negative 2. I have to undo that by doing the opposite of multiplication, which is division. Divide by negative 2. Did it on the left side of the equal sign. Got to do it on the right. Divided by 2. 
negative 2 divided by a negative 2 is a positive 1x, so just an x cancels. Negative 8 divided by a negative 4. Negative, or sorry, negative 2. Okay, negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay, so 8 divided by 2 is 4. Because I have a negative and a negative, my 4 is positive. Just like in multiplication. X is 4, I'm done. Okay, last example, I've got 120 equals 6x, okay? Notice I put the x on the right side, not the left. Don't freak out, it's fine. So 120 is equal to 6 times x. Okay, x is being multiplied by 6. i got to undo it by doing the opposite, divide both sides. That cancels. So I'm left with my x, okay? 120 divided by 6 is 20. So my 20 equals x, or x equals 20. Same thing. Okay. Uh, what I want you guys to do, I've got four practice ones I want you to do. The first one, 12 equals 4x. You guys can use your whiteboards. 2, 22 equals 2x. Number 3, negative 12x equals 48. The last one, negative 6x equals negative 18. Okay. So be careful with your negatives for the third and the fourth one. Just do these on your whiteboards. Pause the video. Get these done on your whiteboard. When you're done, press play, and you can check your answers. Okay, so press pause, do these, and you can come back and check your answers. Okay, so you guys should have completed these one through four. I'm going to run through them really quick. Okay, so the first one, you had 12 equals 4x. X equals 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Number 2, 22 equals 2x. Divided by 2, you should have gotten x equals 11. Positive 11. The third one, you had negative 12x equals 48. Okay, so you should have divided by the negative 12. A positive divided by a negative is a negative 4. Okay, so number 3 should be a negative 4. If you put a positive 4, it is wrong. Got to be careful with your signs. The last one, number 4, negative 6x equals negative 18. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is a positive 3. So if you put a negative 3, it is wrong. Okay, negative divided by a negative is a positive. Okay, so that's it for one-step equations. Next thing is two-step equations. We're just going to add one really, really simple step. 